So his decision to accept the Baylor opportunity does not surprise me one bit. Um, I would have been surprised if he turned it down, even though he's been out of it a couple of years now. Um, he never really got coaching out of his system. Um, when you look at it from Baylor's uh, point of view, uh, when you're looking to correct uh, things that were totally unacceptable within their program, um, I don't know how you could find a, a man who is more reputable, who has more integrity uh, than Jim Grove. Uh, and then when you top that with, he's a fine football coach. I mean, he knows the game. And he's really been involved in football the last two years through his media work. And so he stayed in touch with it. He knows the trends in football. Um, but the biggest thing that Baylor needs right now is not a, a football coach who understands X and O's as much as they need a football coach who can go in there and settle the waters, uh, who can go in there and deal with administration, but also can deal with student athletes. And there's a lot of hurt on that campus right now. And there's nobody better at going in there and healing in addition to being a great football coach. I, I, um, I don't know if they'll continue to score all those points that they've been scoring, but whatever they do, they'll do it the right way.